Hi, Griff Hamlin here. In today's video, we're going to talk about guitar tone with a Strat style guitar. Now, I did another video on a Les Paul style guitar if you want to check that out. But for you Strat or Tele players, this will be a, a lot more useful, I think. So the, the primary difference between the Les Paul style guitars and the Strat style guitars, and as I said in that, in that video, I'm making a huge generalization here which is I'm basically taking every electric guitar on the planet and I'm putting it into either the Les Paul or the Strat camp. Obviously, that's very simplified, but the reality is most guitars are very, very similar to one or the other, and, and that's just kind of the way it is. So in general, when I talk about a Strat-style guitar, I'm talking about something that has the, the single coil pickups, we have three single coil pickups. Now a Telecaster typically has two, although some of them have three. Um, but we have the, the single coil sound out of a Strat. We have, uh, the body is typically made of like alder or ash and not usually mahogany like a, a Les Paul is or um, uh, perhaps basswood as some other uh, Les Paul style guitars are. So we're gonna have a different sound, no question about it. Uh, primarily because of the electronics that are different. So if you have a Telecaster, you still have the uh, single coil pickups, you'll still get that sound. So let's talk a little bit about the, the differences. Now with single coils, as you can see, it looks like half of a humbucker. It's just one single coil. I have three of them here, the bridge position, the middle position, and the neck position. I have a five-way switch down low that allows me to choose which one I'm using. So in the number one position, we have the bridge uh, pickup. In the number two position, I have both the bridge and the middle. In the number three position, I have just the middle. In the number four position, I have the middle and the neck. And in the number five position, I have just the neck. Um, now we get um, a very different tone out of all of them. So I'm gonna turn all of my tone knobs up, my volume knob up. <laughs> So in the number five position here, the neck, we get kind of a real smooth tone. Now if I go to the number four position, which remember is the neck and the middle, I get a more kind of bell, a chime. And that's definitely a different tone and something that you're not going to get out of a Les Paul because of the fact that we're using two single coils. Uh, the middle one happens to be reverse wound. And so that's what gives us this kind of funky out of phase thing. Now what's cool is this also does cancel hum. So that's kind of a, a, a neat little thing. But it's a pretty radical tone change. <laughs> uh, now in the middle position, you start to get a little bit more oomph. This is very much... Um, Always reminds me of that Texas Stevie Ray Vaughan type of sound because it's it's not bright and brittle like you get on the uh, on the bridge position, but it's not so mellow like you get on the neck position. The number two position, I now get the bridge and the middle. So again, I've got this kind of in between sound. Robert Cray do this. So you just kind of, it's, it's good for, great for funk stuff. And it's just kind of, kind of got that bubbly sound. Now, when I go to the bridge position, particularly on a Strat or a Tele, you really get some quack. If I turn on some uh, overdrive, you'll really hear. It's definitely kind of in your face as opposed to the neck position. So 
you can hear there's a really substantial difference between the two. Now, one other thing is, of course, the, the volume knob uh, adjusts volume. So again, on a clean tone, it really does adjust volume. If I turn on the overdrive again, you'll see that I'll go from more distorted to less distorted without a real noticeable change in volume. And if you watch guys play strats, you'll tend to see them really work this volume knob a lot. There's, there's, uh, it's a little bit easier to get to on a Strat, although plenty of guys that play Les Pauls can get to the volume knob and use them. Um, but you, there's a, a huge variety of tones you can get out of that volume knob, similar to how I do with a Les Paul, where I'll set one pickup, uh, I'll set the volume on one of the pickups much lower, and then use the switch to toggle between the tones. On the Strat, I have to do it all with the volume knob. <laughs> I can go from a little bit to, to a lot and totally kind of more in your face just by hitting that switch and bringing the volume up. So if you are a Strat player, you're probably manipulating the guitar more just because you don't have the separate volume controls for the different pickups. Now uh, last but not least are the tone controls, which work a little bit differently, honestly, depending on your guitar. Um, for example, a Tele just has a single tone control. It works across all the pickups. Um, most Strats have two tone controls, but depending on the manufacturer, they may be wired differently. Um, on my guitar, my middle tone knob, you can hear works on either of these middle two pickups does not affect the bridge position pickup. On the other hand, my bottom tone control affects only the bridge position pickup without affecting the other two. So nothing changes there, but if I go back again, Now some strats are set up the way that mine is. Some are set up such that the middle tone knob might affect only the middle pickup and the bottom one might affect the neck pickup. Uh, you, you really have no way to know without trying it out. So just put your pickup selector on, turn the knobs, play a chord, listen to what happens and you'll, you'll see quickly how that's set up for you. Um, now the other thing that you can't see in the electronics is the scale length difference, which is the, the distance of vibrating string between the nut and the tailpiece. On a Strat style guitar, we're dealing with a 25 and a half inch scale length, which is a little bit longer than the Les Paul's 24 and three quarters. What does that mean to you? Well, really it just means that the same gauge string at the same pitch is gonna have a little bit more tension on your Strat. So, let's say you're playing a Les Paul and you're used to 10 gauge strings. You come over to your Strat, you put 10s on it, and it feels a little tougher. That's because there is just a little bit more tension on those strings. So you may find that you want to use, for example, 9s on your Strat and 10s on your Les Paul. I happen to use 10s on both. It just depends on what you get used to. Some people use 10s on a Strat and 11s on a Les Paul. Is it doesn't matter. There's no right or wrong answer here. I just want you to understand that that there is a difference and you're going to feel a little bit different also. There is of course a subtle tone difference as well, but there's so many other factors involved that the scale length is not going to be a, a huge factor. It's probably not something that you'll notice. It's never going to overpower the different pickups, the different body woods, all that different kinds of stuff. So. Um, in general, this is how Strat style guitars work or Telecaster style guitars. There are, of course, dozens of manufacturers out there that make Strat or Tele style guitars or Les Paul style guitars. And the one thing that you'll see often too is you'll see Strats with humbucking pickups in them. When you see that, really the humbucking pickup kind of makes it a little bit more Les Paul style, but of course it's probably still made out of alder 
like a Strat style guitar. Now, if it, if it gets to be made out of basswood or, or mahogany, even though it's got a Strat style body, it's gonna sound like a Les Paul. So keep that in mind that the wood's obviously gonna have some effect on it. And, but the pickups, it, that's really gonna have the most effect on the tone. So I hope this has been helpful to you. I hope you enjoyed it and get something good out of it. And I'll talk to you soon.